The fire in a freshman dorm left three dead and 54 students to area hospitals. This is a, a huge tragedy. We don't know a whole lot yet. There's kids hanging out the windows and dark black smoke coming out from over their heads. I cannot imagine how these kids made it. When the doctors and the nurses first saw Sean and Alvaro, they knew that these were critically burned children who were near death. It's really, are they going to make it through this? And how do you convey that message to their family? It was really difficult for me. You know, that was my younger brother. His whole face and his whole identity is going to change. But what doesn't change is the inside of them. It was a disturbance right before this fire. Immediately, we locked this down, and we're going to make sure that somebody was going to be held accountable for this. It was extremely important to find out who murdered our son. To know that a fire that killed three, injured 56, was set by someone, and you don't know who it is. God damn them both, God damn their families, God damn their progeny, and anyone who assisted them to commit these hor horrific sure, acts. Sure, sure. It was just so emotional. What I admired the most about my brother was that he didn't give up and he made the best out of the situation. We'll always be bonded for life, you know, we're always gonna be uh, survivors. I always think of my brother because he has a story and, and if people can hear it, I think they can get inspired from it.